Hi there. Welcome back to Designs by Carrie Ann. I'm Carrie Ann, and today we're going to do a vase pour, acrylic pour on a vase. Um, I'm going to try a tree ring pour, um, but I am dedicating my pour today to the one and only Carol Burnett, which is why I'm wearing this. I don't have red hair, but I, and I wanted a red wig to, you know, honor Carol Burnett. She won an amazing award today, and she's an icon in the comedic community. So, um, so yeah, I've got this on, and I've got some tools in my hair, and I think that she might find funny. These are little bitty um, cocktail forks, and you know, <laughs> I don't know. A girl needs to be prepared. You never know when you're gonna need to stab a cocktail or nerve, we'll say. So yeah, so this is what I'm doing today. And um, yeah, I'm gonna take you guys down so you can see the um, the vase that we're going to pour and let's get at it. There you go, so just real quick, I took this vase, super cheap little vase from a uh, dollar store uh, buck for the vase. And I cleaned it up with 99% alcohol, just bring it up to get any marks or you know grease or oil and the little tag that's on the bottom off. And um, I've got my paints together. I've got, let's see my colors today. I've got a copper, I've got rose gold. I've got metallic blue. I've got one of my favorites, a metallic peacock pearl. And then a sort of, I honestly don't know what color this is, but it's a red pink mix and it's a mystery color. And down below, you'll see that I have this canvas that I covered with some gray um, Artist Loft Flow Acrylics uh, paint because anything that drips off of the base is going to drip onto this canvas and maybe I can make something of the canvas. So that's my plan. Um, all of my paints are mixed with Floetrol only. No water, no silicone. And yeah, so let me raise you up just a little bit so you can see the top of the base. Here's my pour cup. Ready to go. And I'm gonna try a tree ring pour. If you watched an earlier video of mine, I struggle with this, but we're gonna try it again. Let's see what happens. Here we go. This one's for Carol Burnett, don't forget. So the colors are, ooh, the colors are dripping down pretty good. Looks like I'm getting awesome coverage on this, on this base. Uh, the blue is coming out last. So any red that I have may have disappeared. I'm going to scoot my cup around a little bit, see if I can get some more red out of there. This might be a predominantly blue base, but that's okay. I think Carol's favorite color might be red. She should, she's a ginger after all. So maybe she'll appreciate some blue. Either way, I have her in mind here. Okay, we're gonna stop there. So you see that I have a, um, a red solo cup down below to support my, camp, my uh, base. <clears throat> and I've caught all the all the excess paint on the canvas. Uh, that'll be. We'll see what we can do with the canvas. But this vase looks pretty awesome. I'm gonna slide it around so you guys can see this side because this side is pretty cool. I think. Look at that. Sorry, Carol. I was really hoping to have more red for you. But this blue is pretty cool, and the patterns are pretty neat. Okay, so next step in the vase pour is to pull this thing off ever so gently. <laughs> I'll be right back. I'm going to set this aside. So that base will continue to drip and the paint will continue to move and hopefully it'll end up being super cool. But now we're left with this canvas with some paint on it and let's see what we can do with it. Hmm. 
I'm going to stop right there. I'm going to grab my torch. See if we can get anything popping out here. Bring you guys a little closer. Okay, torch is failing me. Maybe I'm out of butane. I don't know. Oh, there it goes. That's all good. All right, you know what? I'm not going to stress too much about this can this painting because it's a super cheapo canvas. I got it in a box of, I don't know, 60 for maybe 10 bucks. So I'm not going to stress if this doesn't turn out to be anything cool. We'll still move the paint around. Oh, that is some very, very flowy paint. guys think there's a lot of uh, stripiness in this yeah okay it's fine I'm gonna move this over here there are absolutely no cells here but you know what that's okay so that's really not our goal today our goal today was to make an awesome vase in honor of Carol Burnett so let me just take you over to look at this face one more time before I sign off because I think it looks, it's gonna look pretty cool Move some things out of the way so you guys can see it. And here we go. Sorry, the camera's gonna move a bit. And there's our vase. And take a look at that. Nice coverage. Pretty stripes. I think we're gonna like that. All right, you guys. So I am going to sign off. And um, in honor of Carol Burnett. I'm so glad we had this time together. She always pulled her ear as a message to her grandma. Anyway, thanks you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, hit the bell, all that rigmarole. Take care. Bye.